So soon what we have here coming up is the EIP 27 soft fork uh, for uh, essentially Ergo and their blockchain. If you're not familiar with Ergo, you can mine it. It's mineable. We've talked about how to do that on this channel. You can go back and take a look at that. A lot of the benefits surrounding Ergo has to be with the Oracle between Cardano. So it kind of has that top 100 coin to work off of. In addition to that, it has had some of the fastest development time in the dApps arena that I've ever seen on a project. So things like, but not limited to, decentralized finance to where you can swap and add liquidity uh, to, of course, NFTs and multiple different NFT platforms that are integrated. And of course, like I said, that integration with, with potentially with Cardano, especially as it pertains to their bridges, et cetera, uh, makes it a pretty attractive project to get behind, especially post ETH 2.0, or I shouldn't even say 2.0 now because they've gone ahead and changed the terminology, but ETH specifically moving proof of stake and taking the GPUs off mining. Ergo is a pretty interesting one. One of the places where they obviously, I think at this point made a mistake was with, of course, their distribution method uh, through the consensus mechanism, which is proof of work. Now, if you guys aren't aware, essentially the way pretty much all proof of work functions is that there is a set amount of time uh, before the base reward goes away for miners. Now that base reward is essentially something that is guaranteed for solving a block that does not include fees. And that means that basically, no matter what, the miners can basically rely on a certain amount of whatever they're mining to be paid out. In the case of Bitcoin, this isn't gonna end till like 2140. And then once all the coins are mined, essentially what will happen is that miners will only be receiving the fees. Now the fees are determined, of course, by the network and it depends on which network we're talking about. If we took a look at Ethereum, of course, those fees uh, basically uh, determine order of transactions among other things, of course. And if the network's really heavy, those fees go up and miners reap more of a reward. Now, in the case of Ergo, what we are finding is that the initial emission cycle for the mining portion ends a little bit quick on the base block reward. And because of that, the potential that you run into post uh, ending of this block reward being paid out is not enough of an economic incentive for miners to continue to provide security. That's the best tells I can determine from exactly what this EIP is trying to do. Ergo has by far the fastest emission cycle that I've ever seen as far as a base block reward goes, and it ends in six years. EIP 27 is going to essentially solve this in kind of a unique manner for a proof of work coin. It's going to take a portion of the block reward and repurpose it back into a contract that will then be paid out as a base block reward after the six years is up. This would hopefully continue to incentivize miners to provide basically security to the network in addition to the fees. Now, my assumption here is there's not enough adoption for those fees alone to compensate for that, that incentive. So that's kind of where you're at as far as this goes. Now, the good thing about it is that if Ergo has basically a governance model that is determined by the miners on the network. That means that the miners can, of course, make the decision on whether or not they want EIP 27 to go in or not. And in this particular case, the thing is, is that Ergo is now mineable on mining pools. And when we're talking about governance from miners and mining pools controlling basically the decision for everybody else, you can run into a problem. One of the neat things that has come out of this that I haven't actually seen implemented before is basically a governance token, a governance vote that GetBlock, a mining pool themselves, has developed. 
and it really changes the way this functions because now as an individual miner, you can go in and essentially determine how the pool votes. Unfortunately, it will be a majority vote in this particular case and the pool will still make the final vote for everybody else. So it's not like you're actually getting individual votes all the way into Ergo, but you can influence at least the vote, uh, the way this pool in particular votes, which is really neat. And so as you can see here right now on ergo.getblock.io slash vote, they have the statistics up. And basically whenever you mine or get a payout of Ergo, you get a portion of that, not a portion of that, you also get a GBGT, which is the governance token for EIP 27. Once you've done that, you basically have a two contracts here, one contract to vote yes and one contract to vote no. And you will go into your Ergo wallet, use that GBGT asset, and send it with 0.001 Ergo along with it just to pay for the network fees to vote the way that you think this should go. Regardless of which side that you're going to vote for, in my opinion, this is something that is um, to a certain extent pretty revolutionary for cryptocurrency mining in general. Uh, and I, I stand behind it. Now, are there problems with it? Yes, there are problems with it, but this is a much better step in the right direction and really shows, you know, that the industry can move forward in different ways. And this is very cool. I also just huge shout out to getblock.io. I'm not sponsored by them. We don't take pool sponsorships or coin sponsorships or anything like that. It's just when somebody does something neat, I like to point it out. So that's kind of where I sit as far as this goes. If you're going to be mining Ergo, I would mine to the pool that gives you, you know, from a principled standpoint, that gives you the most say as an individual miner, and that's GetBlock. Now, as far as profitability and pure profitability, well, you're probably not even mining Ergo at that point. Uh, if we're being honest, you're going to still be on ETH right now. But if you are mining some Ergo and you're more like wanting to support a pool that supports you, I'd definitely take a look at it. So that's, and I have taken a look at it. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.